Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, the like, leave a comment, share my stuff. I was gonna say something else, but <laughs> and it almost came out. But anyway, so today's video, I wanna talk to you guys about um, how hard it is to be a radio technologist. Not how hard it is, but what is the hardest part of being a, radio a radiology technologist or being in a radiology field in general. And honestly, I have to say that being a radiology tech is probably, it's not hard, you know, as far as like, if you compare with the other, you know, um, parts of the medical field, as far as hospital wise, we honestly have it the easiest, you know, nurses, once you become a nurse, whether you're ER, inpatient nurse, whatever nurse, in the ER, you have to be with that patient until that patient either gets, you know, um, goes home and gets discharged or they become an inpatient and the inpatient nurse takes care of that patient. So they're with the patient 24 seven. They have to, anything that, time, that, that call button goes off, they have to go, they have to go what's going on. You know, they have to always be with them. Um, if you become a, a, a RT, which is a respiratory therapist, you know, in a hospital, you have to be with that patient. So say, a, a, you know, gunshot wound victim comes in. The RN and the and the respiratory therapist have to be in that in with the patient until that patient either recovers or gets flown out somewhere else or whatever the case may be. You have to be in there with the patient. You know, you, you the the doctor needs you. You have to be there. Um, as far as radiology, where if there's a gunshot wound victim comes in, whether it's in the chest, wherever it's at, you know, um, you go in there, you take your picture and you leave because the radiologist wants to wants to see well you don't leave because now they have digital radiology so you have the portable and as soon as you shoot it it's there you know and the doctor the er doctor sees the image and he's like okay well it's it, okay now i know what i'm looking at okay you know you're done you go you you leave you know i mean if you you know you want to be the best tech and the best you know um co-worker so you go back and you help but at the same time that's not your job you know your job is to take you know, pictures and do CT, CAT scan, whatever, because the nurses, the doctors, nobody is, is certified in your area to do what you have to do. You know, a, a, a ER doctor, just because the ER doctor doesn't mean he can sit there and shoot a portable. He can't, he's not licensed for it. He can't do that. A nurse can't sit there and be like, oh, I can go and shoot an x-ray. No, you cannot. You know, you're, you're in your own profession and you, you do, where you, you know, you went to school for, you know, and you're, you're a, a how can I explain it? You're kind of like one of a kind when it comes to the hospital because you're the only one that can mess with the radiation and mess with techniques and do all that because they don't know. So you, you're, you're a specialty in that way. So, but anyway, you go and you do a portable, whether it's the easiest patient or the hardest patient, you're probably with the patient five minutes and then you're done. While the nurse, respiratory therapist, other medical healthcare professionals have to be with that patient for hours, you know? So even when it comes for CT, you know, you go, you get an ER patient, you go back to the CT, CTs probably take no more than 10, 15 minutes, then you take them back and you're done. You know, and now, now you go and do what you had to do with the CT and all that and make sure it gets right on time. That's a whole nother thing, but it, you know, being a radiology tech is probably the easiest as far as you know, um, being with the patient wise, is probably one of the easiest jobs in the hospital. Uh, what can probably make it hard is, um, you know, working overnight or, you know, being on call, like when you want to go home and you're like, okay, I'm done, you know, for the week, you know, you always, there's always that rotating on call schedule. So that's kind of hard, you know, to be like, you know, I can't do nothing this week cause I'm on call. You know, that's probably one of the toughest parts, but as far as like physical and all that, there's, it's really not that bad to be a radiology tech, to be honest. Yeah, there's some days that they kill you, and then some days that you don't do much, you know, to be honest. Even in the hospital, there's they got the droughts. You know, you go on 7 in the morning to 10, it might be busy, and then from 10 to 12, it's not busy, so you can relax a little bit, catch up, and then from, you know, after lunch, like from 12.30 to like 4, it, you know, it gets busy, then it slows down, and then from, you know, 5.30 to 10, it gets busy, you know, so it has its its times that it gets busy and then it doesn't. So, um, and then there's days it's busy all day, but those days are very rare. And it well, depends where you work and where you live too, of course. You know, if you work in a trauma center, then you're gonna be busy all day, 
you know, but if you're working like in one of your, you know, rural hospitals, um, it's not going to be crazy all the time, but you'll still be, you know, you'll still be de decently busy. But anyway, there's really nothing hard about being a radiology tech as far as when you start working. Um, uh, at least that's my opinion. You know, I think nurses, we, we have the praise of nurses, praise of, you know, respiratory therapists, because they have a tough, tough job. They deal with a lot. So I, re I have highly respect for every healthcare worker, but mainly nurses and RTs because they deal with a lot on a daily basis. So if they need help and they're like, hey, can you help me move this patient? Or can you help me translate? Can you help me whatever? I help because I know how hard their job is. And um, I'm a good team worker. I'm a good team player like that, you know, but not every text like that, you know, but I am. But anyway, I hope this helped a little bit. And as always, 